press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and I'm back with a new video on how to use the layout containers in Visual Studio Blend. So without any further ado, let's get started. The most basic layout container that we have available is the canvas control. So here I have my project window open and I have three controls. The canvas is the control that app designers and UI designers are most familiar with because it's the oldest and most basic control. Let me go ahead and add the three controls to the canvas container. And now we can take a look at how it behaves. The canvas being the most basic container really has no concept of layout other than the position. So as I resize the canvas, the elements on the canvas don't actually move in any way. By default, the canvas property is set such that it will draw outside the canvas. So even if the canvas is large enough to control all the buttons, they are still rendered. The property is in the property inspector if you want to change it. The property is clip bounds. As soon as it is checked, now when I resize the canvas, the button disappears. Again, this is the most basic of layout containers. It does not offer any functionality for moving the elements around outside of code or explicitly control. We are going to take a look at some of other layout containers that the window presentation foundation has to offer to see how they work. The first of these is going to be the scroll viewer. When any layout container is right click in the object tree, the menu that is brought up allows you among other things to change is the layout type. I am going to change the canvas into a scroll viewer. The scroll viewer is a layout container that can have only one child. By default, a grid is created for you as a child of the scroll viewer and all the elements are inserted into it. Scroll viewer does not have the concept of repositioning the elements. But if the elements take up too much space, the scroll viewer will provide a scroll bar for you so when the application is run, you can drag the scroll bar around to change the position of the scroll viewer. So guys, that's it for today. Hope you all like watching this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.